What's up, friends? Uh, forgive the noise. As you can tell by my shirt, it is getting hot. We've had a beautiful spring. Usually here in Indiana, we go from winter, have a week or two of spring, and it jumps right into summer. But this year has been just beautiful, and we've had over a month of just great weather. A couple times it got hot, but it was just gorgeous. And now it's June, so summer, I think, is here to stay. But um, I've got a project here, and the reason I'm doing this little short one, and I, I presume it'll be short, we'll see how long it turns out. I am going to be mixing up some rust remover, and I will give you all of the information that I um, have here for, for what I'm doing, if you want to mimic it. The thing is, is I looked for the guy online who I saw this from, on YouTube and it's not there and he was mimicking a brand name he was doing a um, a DIY name brand rust remover and I have a feeling they may have made him take it off so I'm not gonna give all of that information or anything like that I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing and I'm doing this apart from any other videos because I don't want if it gets taken down we'll know why and maybe those of you who want this can get it for at least a little while. But let me bring you down here and show you what it is we're wanting to mix up. So what I got here is water. This is gonna be five gallons of water. I'm mixing it up higher and I'll show you here in the pictures and on the information that I'll put up uh, exactly what the amounts, the mixtures are. I have calculated this to, to be able to mix it up per gallon. And so I've got five gallons here. And then our other content is pure citric acid and pure baking soda. And there's several other options you have for the baking soda, but that's what we're gonna use right now. So I'm going to measure it in here because it's in grams and it's gonna be quite a bit for this five gallons. And then we'll stir that in and then get our rusty tools in there. All right, hopefully, you're not seeing a glare right there. That's 1,216 and I need 1,900. So let's see if this will do that for us. It's four, five, okay. Let's do one more. Hopefully that will give us enough. see 907 goodness sakes there's eight there's that and now all of this All right, now we need 1,200 grams of baking soda. Let's see if we can do this without making too big a mess. And I wanna warn you when you mix this in, it has quite the reaction. Oh, what did I say? 200, 1,200. Oh, right there. Should be good. All right. I said before you got to turn and put this in very very carefully and slowly because it will react to the citric acid and you'll get a volcano here if you're not careful so just a little bit at a time yep it foams right up Once this mixes in, it'll take rust right off of your right off of your metal. Now I'm not any kind of scientist, nor do I pretend to be one, but. Um, 
I have on tools before used muriatic acid and vinegar and different things like that um, because what I'm going to be doing with this is is I'm going to be um, cleaning up some cast iron and so you don't want anything that might be toxic but there's nothing that you're putting in here that's toxic the only other thing I'd probably use would be vinegar and vinegar doesn't it takes a little longer so this I'll still leave overnight probably but none of this should be at all toxic and it should all be burned out when we heat it up and, and um, get it ready for treatment so there we are we're all set um, something I didn't take into account I guess as you add you know this dissolves the baking soda and citric acid does dissolve in there, but it still seems to add to the volume. So um, I think we've got a little more in here than what I anticipated, but that will be okay. Now let's take and dip our first item in here and just let it soak. Again, it's not toxic, so you don't have to worry about your hands being in it. And it's all supposed to in fact, even when you dump it out, you dump it out in the gravel or in the yard and there's nothing in there that's toxic, it's going to cause you any problems. And you can always come back later and put your hands in there and kind of mix it up and just see what all is coming off. So anyways, we've got that reacting right now with the, with the, um, with the rust and that should clean up quickly. In 24 hours and it's still active. this black stuff I don't want you to see it on my hands it has this black stuff that kind of comes off on it but all of that will wash off so let's get it over wash it off with some hot water and then stick it on the grill so that we can get it completely dry but that looks just beautiful guys that rust remover turned out wonderfully it does a great job I've got a few things here this little hammer head I want to do and I'm gonna throw that in there pretty soon I'll probably look for some more rusty tools the thing about this homemade stuff is it doesn't have much of a shelf life after a couple of weeks it will start to grow mold especially if it's been used so I don't know how to keep that from happening necessarily but it is inexpensive to make and you can put it together and use for what you need. So I'm going to probably throw a bunch of stuff in there. And uh, the thing is, in fact, I've got this big thing. Maybe I'll do an intro to this and throw this thing in there and see how it cleans up. So, yeah, that's a good idea because I need to get some big stuff to throw in there because it will go bad after a while. Now, I will say I really wish in the little picture here of the, the amounts that were put up, I got that from somebody else on YouTube. I cannot find his video. Um, I have purposely not used any brand names on this video. I don't know if his was taken down. I don't know if I'm just not seeing it. I can find all kinds of other videos on this rust remover. I just don't know that they're all using the same, 
the same ingredients. So anyways, this is what I know and this is what I've been putting up. So um, I'm making this as a separate video from anything else just in case I uh, find out that I need to take it down. But if you can use it and if you can make this work for yourself, go for it, at least for right now. So I am going to throw this item in there and probably a few more things and that way we'll be able to um, get some things cleaned up before it goes bad. So guys, for right now anyways, thanks so much for joining me on this one. I hope it was useful to you. Give us a thumbs up if it was. If you know somebody else that might enjoy this content, please send them the link. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. So until next time, God bless and have a great day. Thank you.